I wanted to go to Comic Con this year. It reminded me of because uh, I went to high school in San Diego. We used to always go down there and buy people's passes for a dollar as they were leaving, mm-hmm. and then go in and then whatever. We'd have the the misfortune of going to a booth and the guy says, "Oh yeah, you're from uh, San Luis Obispo. My my son goes to, to high school out there. What what school are you going to?" <laughs> I had to make hey. some bullshit story. <laughs> Just moved there. Not B. My dad told me not to talk to strangers, especially at the Comic Con. Hey. <laughs> yeah. But that especially, was especially when dressed as Boba Fett. Yeah. The, the Comic Con was like legit, ba- oh, le- legitly like fucked back back <laughs> before the whole world got screwed up. Like I remember going uh, <laughs> upstairs there, and they had like rooms just where they play anime. <laughs> I remember opening the door of one of those motherfuckers. Oh, uh, no. It closed in that door. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. It wasn't like the hentai room, was it? just cracked me up because I was like, so this is like, you know, 90 to 93. That shit was bad. Now it's like they've taken over the world. You oh, know, it's big time. There's a cartoon I just heard about coming out now. It's already out. It's called uh, Stormhawks. And why Why am I talking about I know, this? I don't know. I've actually seen the commercials for this. Um, Tell me about Stormhawks. Well, when we always, in our Here the Web, we always... Well, not always, but it, it, it's common that we have furries and people that fetishize game characters and mm-hmm. animals and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And at some point, I was wondering, like, okay, what if there's this, you know, I'll have this, I'll entertain this conspiracy theory and say that the people that make the Sonic games and stuff, not the first one, but the sequels and the sequels of the sequels, say, hey, we understand that a big portion of our audience is into this kind of stuff. Like, let's cater to them a little bit. Into it, you mean, like... Into it, into it, yeah. Like wanting to like get into their characters, with Sonic. wanting to really get into their characters. Uh-huh. Okay. Not a problem, and, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, like along with that, I kind of like entertain that, put it aside. But now there's this show called Stormhawks, and if you look at it, I swear to God, it's straight up. They're like, this. Someone said, "Hey, that's a lucrative market. There's people that like that shit, and we're gonna like give it to them." Hmm. So they have like a whole su- part of the huge cast are straight up furries. Mm-hmm. It's not, and I, when I say furry, I don't mean like, uh, like not live uh, action guys, Bugs suit. Bunny and shit. You know where, mm-hmm. you, you know, it's like that's a bunny, that's like a bunny cats. with like dynamite coming out of his ass. But they're like people, they're they're very like highly anthropomorphized animals. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that show's loaded with them. So what we mm-hmm. did is we're like, okay, yeah. are we just being like freaks? Are am I be- becoming like the Jack Thompson of the furry <laughs> generation? <laughs> so what we did, that's a hell of a banner to hold there. Is man. I googled, I googled furry. Plus Stormhawks, uh-huh. and what do you know? Oh. Almost everything that comes up, it's like furry forms and stuff, and their favorite things. Uh. There's like a little box on the side. What are your favorite things in this world? Stormhawks, Stormhawks. is, is uh, wow. a very, very common common favorite. So basically, mm-hmm. if your kids are watching Stormhawks, there's the smoking gun. your warning sign. That's the smoking gun. You are the Jack gun. Thompson of You are attuned to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wondered because it's like at some These point, These TV you know, shows are turning our kids into furries.